last video I'm recording today I was actually supposed to record two lookbooks but I kind of started uh filming too late so I have to film them when I come back from Jersey making a quick um sudden trip up there Wednesday I'm leaving at three in the morning like going in from Tuesday into Wednesday basically today is Tuesday so I'm leaving in a couple of hours because it's like midnight so um yeah, going to Jersey for like a day, doing a turnaround, quick turnaround, coming back. So I'll probably record the lookbooks this weekend, if not Friday. Well, yeah, if not Friday, I'll just do it like Saturday or Sunday. But I have two lookbooks to record for you guys. So keep a lookout for that. And this is my last video for today. And this is a random video. I did this because me and Delary was talking about it. Me and Della. She don't like when I call her Della, but I think that is so cute. It's just cute. Um, it rhymes with Bella. <sighs> Anyways, um, we were talking and we was like uh talking about, you know, fuck buddies and stuff like that. And we was I don't know how we came across the topic or anything like that. I don't even remember. But she was like, You need to talk about this on your channel because we was like going in. <laughs> we was going in because it's a lot of you know double standards out there when it comes to having a fuck buddy and we were actually like questioning like does have we ever seen anybody in a successful fuck buddy situationship type of thing all right um so i said fuck buddy enough i'm just gonna go ahead and say f buddy I'm trying to stop you know calm down on my profanity my profanity <laughs> my profanity like i'm really trying to be on this positive thing that i'm doing but yeah so I didn't really make any key points for this video because we were just talking. But we really just wanted to talk about how they're not always, most of the time they're not successful. And the thing is because, one, the partner, it's just like so many scenarios. One, it's like people blame you, the person you know the second party half of the party for getting attached or they don't blame the other person for person person for putting you in a position to be attached like for example it's like um like the girl or the guy or whoever the person is not getting attached just because like one people be liking <laughs> I'm about to get a little ratchet, but people be liking to spend a night with you after the little F buddy session, right? And then they want to cuddle you all night. They want to bring you food in the day. They want to come every single night. Matter of fact, they, like, you get attached to people like that. Like, I don't, how can you distinguish a situationship and a relationship or working towards something? How can you distinguish that when you're being treated as if you're in a relationship? Like, you're giving a person relationship treatment but you don't want them to catch feelings like I don't understand and then let's not get into the guys who are mad because you're not loyal to them as their F buddy like let's not get into the guys who will get mad because yes you're screwing them but you're also entertaining somebody else like texting talking on the phone facetiming another person so now they're mad because you're not a loyal F buddy what? <laughs> Delry was like, yo, people need to come up with, like, y'all need to have a contract, like, and she was like, maybe they can include a clause where, yeah, per se, if both parties fall, you know, for each other, maybe something more can happen, but there needs to be some ground rules set, and Delry said that. She was like, you need to set some rules because... I don't know how y'all be expecting people out here to not get attached when you're putting them in that position, if you guys understand what I'm saying. So, um, like, you need to be specific. One, don't text me throughout the day. Don't send me a good morning text. Don't say good morning, beautiful. Don't say I miss you. Don't say none of that. Hit me up strictly when you want to do it. You understand? Hit me up when you want to do it. And if I want to do it, all right, we do it and you be out. Like, don't, no sleepovers. You will not spend a night because we will not cuddle and it will not 
you know, we will not do all of that. All right. Um, I, it's just having an F buddy does not work for me. I don't think it'll ever work for me. Um, not because, oh, I'm clingy or I will get attached too easily or anything like that. It's because if I'm dealing with somebody, I want more than just that. You understand? I want more than just sex. So whatever. Um, yeah, I think basically I just wanted to go in on that real quick. Like, I don't want to make this a long drawn out video, but I want to know, I want to know your opinions on having an F buddy, sex buddy, friend with benefits, whatever you call it. I want to know what you think about that and how you feel about that and have you ever seen anybody be successful in having something like that? And yeah, and how about these double standards? Like when a girl, uh, like the guy can do what he wants because he's single, right? He can do what he wants because he's single. But as soon as you start talking to somebody or entertaining other people, now it's... He, him bad talking you to other people like, oh, she a hoe. You know, I fucked her. I smashed her. Blah, 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 blah. Like, but you was doing the same thing, bruh. You was doing the same thing. So, I'm a hoe. What are you? And it's just like so much is put on the woman. Um, It's like, you, you should have more respect for yourself. You understand? Like, boys will be boys. But, you know, you as a woman... You should not even, you shouldn't even handle yourself. You shouldn't carry yourself that way. You should have more respect for yourself. Like, really? Really? Like, the double standards out here are crazy. They're crazy. But let me, like I said, let me know. If you've ever seen somebody be successful in a F buddy relationship, situation, whatever, let me know what you think or how you feel about the situation. And also let me know, um, it was something else I wanted to know. But I forgot what it was. Oh, do you think that two people can have sex and strictly have a sexual relationship with no feelings attached ever?